yep. Back out yet again. I don't know what I'm doing. It's so cold. Well, it's not too cold. It is cold. It's gonna get colder. It's gonna get worse. The weather's gonna get really bad. But you know, one has to go out. Just simply can't stay in the house. I can't. I just cannot. I can't do it. I'm gonna go up there. And that was where I come last time I was in this area is Easter Tor. This time I'm gonna push on and do the Wester Tor. And I've been aiming to do that for so long, every time I come up here. But it always gets it either gets too dark or the blimmin' rain comes, so I have to bail and just pitch where I am. So that's the objective today is the Wester Tor. Also known as Newton Tors. Oh I've just gotta get over this stepping stones. God that was dangerous. There we are. That would have been good, I know he set me sort of away there. Oh dear, right. So I've had a thrilling week doing nothing but work really. So busy at work. I haven't had time to do anything to the van. Bought a few bits and bobs, soundproofing and that and uh, insulation, but I haven't got anywhere near starting it. I'm hoping, I'm not going to work tomorrow, so I'm gonna hope that I can at least make a start on that van tomorrow. So even if I just get the plywood out and the bulkhead. So, yeah, we'll see. It's not about camper vans anyway, it's about tents and wild camping. Ah, whew. So, this is, this is the Easter toss. Basically, I was pitched about there on the last time I was there. And the other one's just over the back. And you go down and then back up. And, Hopefully get a pitch. I've walked up there. I can't remember what the pitch was like. I remember saying to Stoke whether it was we could get a tent there like easy, so we'll see. Right, we'll push on. So it's not frozen. I can walk on it at least. Don't know about overnight, it might freeze overnight, so I'll be coming down on the grass. On my ass. It's Easter tours here. I'm nearly, I'm nearly there. Like, just got my head down. Keep going. <sighs> Remote. A couple of people down there. I've seen two lads in the field before. That's it. Oh, the wind's picking up though. I'm sure at the minute, but I don't think I'm gonna get me drawn up. As it's really picking up. When it comes when I was out there before, I exposed. It was windy. So oh, I don't know. Would have been good because the point of interest up there, the top is quite interesting. We'll see. I might, I might get it up. I don't want to find out the hard way if it's no good in the wind though. <laughs> Just watch it flying away at Scotland. It's away. Done that before, like. Oh, right. It's hard walking on this. It's slipping as well, slipping and sliding. Probably should have had any spikes on, but think about it. That's the first sight of where I'm headed. That's the Easter Tours. Easter as in not Easter eggs but Easter as in it's on the east side of Newton Tours which is that the whole area is Newton Tours and the Wester Tour is over the back of there. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sure it makes sense somewhere along the line. Oh look, there's the, the Cheviot Yetis. Cheviot goats. Monkey things, look at them. You better run as well. I'm the goat, not you. True story. Oh, it's wild, look at that. Whoo, I think it's the Cheviot. Uh, there's only two of them, there's normally loads of them. But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna go on up there, you go around the side of it and then up that way, following the map. Well, I've underestimated what I forgot about. Wester Tor is up over there. But I'm actually going to that over there. 
It's called Halo. Oh, forgot about that. That's where the shelter is over there. So I've got about another half a mile to go. Oh, I told you there. Oh, it's a quarter of a mile. That's more than a quarter of a mile, that like. But that's where the shelter is anyway. So I'm heading that way. Ah, oh, the wind's really picked up. There'll be no drone footage. Ah, oh, terrible freezing cold as well. So I'm going to push on, get over there. Hopefully that's where uh, me and Mr. Stoke I found the the shelter and the nice camping pitch, one pitch at least. Hopefully. If not, I'm knackered. <laughs> Have to come all the way back to the Easter tour, which I really don't want to do. Anyway, we're going to see. Another quarter of a mile won't kill us. That's the College Valley. Over there, Braden Crags. That's somebody over there texting us before. Over there on Braden Crags. Good luck with that, like. I remember going up Braden Crags with the right slog. Captain Slog. This is where I need to be. But the wind, man. It's blowing a gale. <laughs> There'd be no drone footage. This is where I was going to pitch here. It's right in the wind. Oh, let's put that down. So look at this. This is the shelter I was on about. We've got to cross the Charlemagne Gap. Oh. First, I fancy doing this after a few beers. There you are. It's the shelter. Shelter of dreams. Hair law, it's called. Oh man, that wind is just horrible. So, why is it always windy when I go out? Why is it always windy? Forecast said it would be, but not until later on, overnight, not now. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself here. Oh, God. So there's here, this is a pitch here, because the wind is supposed to change direction and come that way. So, I mean, if I can get out of it here, I'll have a look around, see if there's any sheltered bits, but this is it. Look at the views. Let's have a look at these views before we turn off. It's the shill. Archo refuge hut is on that on that ridge there. Oh dear me. That's the Juviot. Back there, that's Hedge Hope. Already, already minus one. Ugh. So I'm all set up. It's freezing, literally it's freezing. Minus eight wind chill, I recorded. Oh, I'm not happy with the setup. I can't pull, I can't pull it out because the ground's too, it's too lumpy and bumpy. There's rocks here, rocks there. It's not great pitch like, I can't pull it out. So look, it's got flappy bits. I can't pull it tight. Oh, it's gonna kind of drive me mad that. I might try and adjust it if I can get it a bit better. Oh god, it's so cold though. I've got to, um whoo! Yeah, we got I only just got the feeling back in my hands. I got some of these uh these hot hands hand warmers, they're mint. I've got them in the gloves. Nice. There'll be no drone footage because the wind's just killed that like. I've got a foil mat, God send that. Damn the rest. Hopefully that's doing its trick. And the, the big woolly mammoth. I've put all my clothes all my clothes on now, all my spare t-shirts and everything. Just to warm up. I've got steak tonight. Some savory chicken. Bit of nuts. Oh, it's all in there. Steak, tomatoes. Mushrooms, usual crack like, but yeah, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna warm up, have a cup of tea. I'm not sure I'll be drinking them. I might. When you're this cold, cold beer is not good. 
I normally take cans back when it's really, really cold. If you, you have about two or three in, that's it. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'll get back in. Right. Oh, it's so cold. It can't cope. Hand warmers. That's the future. Right there. Oh, so I've got a, a nice 30 day mature um, sirloin. There's a bit of fat in it. That should be all right. I've got some savory rice to bulk it out. Savory chicken, Ben's original. Where's Uncle Ben? And I've just been chopping the mushrooms up there. And some little tomatoes. These are like goldest tomatoes, can you imagine? They cost a hundred pound them, just for them. 100, 120 pound. Yeah, they didn't like it. There's no shortage of tomatoes. All right, so. Just had me shout out of Stuart McCorney. Obviously thinks I'm mad. We'll put that in now. Get down Saturday night, I'll give a them. Which is what Andy Wardle is doing. If you remember last week, if you were listening last week, I hope you were. He was making himself, Andy was, while accompanying the TV, he was making himself some incredibly elaborate looking chicken curry. Um, he's in a minus eight wind chill tonight with snow forecast, cooking steak with mushrooms and tomatoes and rice. Last night he sent, last week he sent us some pictorial evidence of his dinner, so if you can manage it, and this with the snow, we'd quite like that. Um, so I'm going to just get on with this. I'm not going to do the whole process, I'll just bring you back when it's halfway done and then at the end. Right, crack on. There we go. There's a steak. Oh, I'm a little bit overdone, but that's because I was, uh, the gas wasn't really working very well. Mushrooms, tomatoes, and savory rice. Really nicely. That'll fill me up, that'll keep me warm. That's what you want. Right. Well, I've had my tea. Oh, it was nice. It wasn't great, but it was alright. Oh dear, it's so cold. What am I doing? I think it is. I mean, as Annie's saying, it's it's only minus 1.5, according to that. But the wind chill, man. Minus nine. It's the wind, isn't it? Kills you. But uh, I'm just sitting having a the can of the old brew dog punk. Still a nice beer, look. Oh, I do like a nice punk IPA, especially Weatherspoon. You get a pint of that, it's a nice one. Draft, listen to Stuart McCorney there. This is Craig Charles, is back next week. Let's see if I can pester him for a shout out. Oh, it's all just a bit of fun, you know. Have a nice little bit of a buzz to get a shout out on the radio, especially when they say back out. <laughs> But yeah, I might shut the door, keep a bit of the heat in, and then later on I'll close these. I'll close this in this. I don't normally shut these doors here, but I think I will tonight just to keep the warmth in. I think it's going to get wild later on. It's forecast get really, really high gusts and snow, heavy snow. So we'll see. We'll see what comes. I'm ready for it. This tent's all nice and... Uh, it's all secured in. I've got the deltas out. I bashed them in with a rock. Um, and I've put rocks on. I've put boulders on the ones over there, which are not 100% in the ground, but they've got big boulders on them, so they're not going anywhere. Um, that's it. No drone footage. Ah, sick about that, because this would be a great spot to just have the drone circling around. It would be a good, a good, uh, that would be a good video, that. Not to worry, we'll try and get in next time. The wind has thwarted me plans. Oh, so just gonna have this beer and sit and chill out and listen to the listen to the radio. It's good to get a signal when you've got the radio. But I do download most of these shows. So even if I haven't got a signal, I can still listen to them. Albeit it's not in real time. Ooh, reach. Ah, freezing! Reason. Well, it's wild. Just out checking the guy lines. 
solid as a rock. Oh, you yeah. fuck. to question my sanity now like oh just recorded minus 10.1 wind chill out there god minus 10 and that's not even in the real wind it's probably about minus 12 oh, it's a bit of that like oh god <laughs> i was only out for five minutes absolutely terrible imagine it if you get stuck got stuck outside, you had no shelter. Oh, you wouldn't last long, like. See how that happens, can't you? I mean, here's me, I've got a shelter. I've got a sleeping bag, down jackets, everything. I'm still flipping, perishing. Oh, if you had no protection, you wouldn't last five minutes out there, like, in that. It's horrific. Oh, it's just not advisable. We'll only do this, right, if you've got a few coins loose, a bit of loose change up ahead, oh. nah, I'm alright man, I've got a blooming camper farm down in the car park, <laughs> I told you it's not going to stop us, that's my base camp, alright, oh, I'm going to have another beer, it's getting on 9 o'clock now, so time's running off, I'll probably be up early tomorrow. Get off. Depends. <coughs> oh, it's got worse. It has got worse. I'll give it that. But look. We're standing strong. Oh, blimey. All the guy lanes are still tight, pegs are still in. Get delta pegs, I tell you. And then rocks on, rocks on top of them. Got me where I like. This is dicey. Disasters. Hopefully they won't be, but they might be. Oh, I'm back in. Whew. That's too much, that lick. It's when the um, it's when the snow hits you in the face, like little ice ice daggers. Oh, it's awful. I would say that the conditions are worse than when I was on the Cairngorm. It was colder there, but it wasn't as windy. I mean, it was still wild, but it wasn't like this. This is terrible. Cheviots are an unforgiving place, like. Oh, it's not somewhere you'd want to get stuck. I just wrote them lads over there on Braden Crags are all right. One of them says, um, he just messages me now on Instagram. He says, one of the tents has failed, so they're both in the other, the big tent now is it's a nature hike um what's the big look it's like a lack but it's a nature hike version it should be all right the design of it should be all right i don't know i don't know who knows i'm just glad i'm in this tell you what right them hand warmers i put them in at 
about five o'clock this afternoon. It's now half past 11 and they're still hot. They're good damn hand warmers. I've got some in my feet. I've got them in the bottom of my socks. It's snow on the bottom of my socks. Oh man, it's wild. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna turn off now. Unless anything amazing happens. Uh, we'll see in the morning. We'll see in the morning when it should be absolutely crazy in the morning. It's forecast to be 50 odd mile an hour. This is only about 25, 30 mile an hour, this. And it's supposed to be 50 odd tomorrow with heavy snow overnight. Seeing that, it was forecast heavy snow at nine o'clock and it didn't come, it's just light snow. So, I think when it's windy, isn't it? it's hard to predict the, what, what the weather's going to do when it's windy. Like the rain gets just blown over, the snow gets blown away quick, so it doesn't quite materialise. That's the problem when it's windy. But it's definitely forecast windy and it is windy. I mean, look at this, look at this man. I'm like Nanook of the North. I'm actually alright. <laughs> I'm comfortable, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable, I'm warm enough. And I feel safe in my little, my little bomb shelter. So, but there is a little chill running through. Anyway, that's it. All right. See you later. Oh well, that's it. I'm going to bed. The wind is really picking up. It's. I'm all, uh, I'm all cinched in, full four season job on. That's it. That's when you um, close the the main, the like the inner tent. It's a double, a double skin thing. There's like two layers. There's a mesh layer, and then there's the solid panel as well. So I've got them. I've got the solid panels shirt, which I really rarely do. But yeah, that's that's full four season. So I should be alright in here. Been out, checked all the guy lanes, everything's alright. There's no loose pegs or anything like that, so just gonna have to ride it out. It's just the noise, it's just the noise of the wind. There's nothing you can do about it. I wish I had my earplugs be a lot more comfortable tonight. But I should sleep alright. So we will see in the morning. Um that's it really. All right, everything's done. Right, we'll see you tomorrow. If we survive. Morning, campers. Oop, so I've come out and the temperature's gone up. It's all, all the snow's gone. It definitely feels warmer like. I wouldn't say it was t-shirt weather, but it's definitely warmer than last night. So that's good. And, see there's no wind. There's no wind here, just a few little brief gusts. That shelter there, right, if we just go to the side of it, just brace yourself, Rodney. Ah. So that shelter there is doing an um, amazing job. I did the right thing by pitching here. I knew that wind was gonna turn. You know, watch the weather forecast. It said the weather was gonna come, the wind was gonna turn and come from this direction. Last night it was coming from that direction. Always check the weather forecast. Top tip, and then you can get out of it, so. Oh, aye, it's wild though, it's wicked. So I'm gonna get back in and get sorted out and get away. Uh, oof. Well, all packed away. This is where I was here. Just in, in among all the lumps. Hey, there's, there's bumps here, that's why I couldn't get it flat. 
but up here is absolutely crazy. I can hear the wind up here, like so good. The shelter. I'm so glad I got the right spot. Listen to this man. Too dangerous. Bloody hell. Oh. Hey, I'm glad I'm gone down. It's meant to get worse. God, that was that was about 50 mile an hour that. I recorded 42 mile an hour there before. That's got worse. So anyway, I'm off. All packed ready. Hope you enjoyed that. Bit mad like. Oh, I feel sorry for the lads who were on Braden Crags. He says one of the tents broke, but the other one was alright. So they stopped in the other one. Two of them in one tent. I would not like to be up there. Right, here we go. We're going we're going back along that path there, down round the back, right down over there. It's about four mile, three and a half, four mile. It's better get gone there. On last look. saw me and ran away. I thought they were I thought they were alright with people. So it's nice down here. Now the sunshine is out. <clears throat> it's a nice day but for the wind it just keeps coming over in gusts. Oh it was horrendous up there. Recorded 49.8 mile an hour. <laughs> that was hard to walk in. I mean camp. Right so We'll end it here. Thanks for watching. If you got this far, putting up with the antics and all the rest of it. Thumbs up if you like it. Haters gonna hate. Not bothered. So next camp will be um not sure. Maybe next week, not sure. Let's look at the weather. Because if it's blowing a gale, I don't think I'm gonna bother. I've had enough of it like just look at that wind like just annoying so we'll see we'll see right till the next time